What is going on everybody? Erock here bringing you guys a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get the little controller overlay on your streams if you don't want to, you know, put a face cam on or something. Or if you just want to add a little hand cam for free to your stream, something like that. Uh, I don't know. I think it's kind of cool to have sometimes. So if you're interested in uh, it's super easy to do. If you guys enjoy the content on the channel, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Uh, check out the Twitch streams if you are interested in watching any live gameplay of if you're interested in Apex or any other sort of games, whatever. Uh, everything's in the description box down below. But yeah, so this video, I'm just going to show you how to get it on your screen. Super simple to do. Let me kill these bots real quick show you guys kind of what it looks like all right so the process of this is actually super easy to do what you're gonna want to do or I'll start from scratch just to make this easier head on over to Google type in game pad viewer uh, first link here gamepad viewer make sure your controller is already plugged in uh, right now it says there are currently no game pads connected but if I move my controller around it will be connected there all right, so what you're going to want to do is click on a player profile uh, for me. Mine's just player two. I don't know why. I think I just made so many different profiles. Um, but yeah, when you click on a profile, then you can click on this icon here. It'll show you all the different ones you could use. So if you have like a, an Xbox controller and you want to use the white one, you can do that. Um, that's just what it looks like. If you want to be kind of weird, I guess you can do like PlayStation 3, uh, but I'm a PlayStation controller and I prefer the white one the best with red. It kind of looks the most eye appealing on stream and you can see the movements of everything on the controller very easily. Uh, when you have one that you like, just to see everything that it looks like, um, what you're going to want to do is hit this drop down. You're going to want to go to generate URL. Um, what you're going to want to do from here is this URL. You can just click on it and it's going to copy it for you from here. You're going to want to go to OBS. If you guys don't know what OBS is, um, this is just what mine looks like. It looks very, it's, it's, it's hard to look at right now because I'm mirroring it from one monitor to another, but this is OBS. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to whatever scene you want it on. There's this plus arrow right here. You'll hit plus, you'll hit browser you will uh, type in whatever you want. I already have one made, but what you would do is you just type in controller, whatever, it's gonna bring this up. You'll remove the URL, you'll paste in the, the one from the other website. You'll hit okay and it's gonna be right there. Let me just get this off the screen now to make it look a little bit easier on the eye for you guys. Um, it says disconnected because I haven't moved the controller joystick at all, but once I do, it's right there. It's on your screen for you. So, uh, yeah, and then you can resize it, put it wherever you want. If you want on the bottom, the middle, wherever, but, um, basically that's all you do. And then whenever you're streaming, if you don't like using a camera, or if you just want to add this sort of free hand cam controller to your stream, it's a little bit different. A little, it's, uh, I don't know. It's just something different. So that's all you got to do for it. And that is, uh, that's about it. If you have any questions, super simple to do. Leave them in the comments down below. I will do my best to answer them. If you enjoy the content on this channel, like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the Twitch streams. It's everything is in the Dropbox down below at twitch.tv slash erock. Thank you guys for the support, and I will see you in the next one.